also important for all of us to ask the question, why do we want to be leaders? <laughs> and uh, and uh, in the process of asking that question, uh, can we also be followers is another good question to ask. And on the why side, uh, I am continually reminded of the responsibility of leadership. Let me tell you a little story about an experience I had with one of our leaders and service master after he was promoted. And uh, as part of that opportunity, he had an opportunity not to just get stock options, to, but to buy some more service master stock. And, and he, he, he was reluctant. And so I said, I asked if I could have breakfast with him that morning. I learned about breakfast meetings. <laughs> and, and so we sat down and I said, you know, what, what's the problem? And he said, well, you know, if I might have to borrow some money to buy the stock and the stock could go down. I said, yep, Joe, you're absolutely right. And, and he said, well, you see, that's the problem. And so I said, well, let's just put a little T account here. And we talked about his balance sheet. Now, he didn't know, he didn't, wasn't too excited about that, but he had opened the subject. Yeah. And so we put the assets, you know, there was cash and he had a house and he had a boat and a car. And then on the other side, he had a mortgage. And he said, and then, and then that's my equity. See, that's, that's exactly it, Bill. My equity made down. And I said, well, you know, there's, there's a liability that's missing. He said, oh, no, 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 I've told you everything. I said, I said, no. I said, how many people are there going to be in this unit that you're going to assume leadership for? He said, well, there's 800. Hmm. And I said, tell me, a year from now, is there going to be an opportunity in this unit for 1,000 people or for 600 people or for just 800 people? And by the way, does your leadership have anything to do with the answer to that question? How many of these people are... These 800 people are the principal breadwinners in their home. Uh, what do you think their aspirations are for not only their job, but who they are becoming as individuals? How many of these people really understand where they're going ultimately? And has your leadership got anything to do with this? Because if it doesn't have anything to do with this, then you, we just don't need a leader out here. You know, it'll just happen. But if it has something to do with this, then you've just assumed what Max Dupree refers to as a posture of indebtedness, a responsibility that your leadership is going to affect the changed lives of people. So I think I keep asking myself the question when I'm, when I, when I'm asked about a leadership responsibility, no matter what level, why? Because it not only means um, uh, fun, excitement, because you can have an influence on others, it also means responsibility. career, which was about just a little over a year ago, I was the president of a Japanese multinational company in the Philippines. I felt successful um, having been in the leadership position. And of course, um, earning much, but um, unfortunately though, that took so much time away from family. My relationship with my wife at the time was, was not good and it's just not good. I mean, we, we, we almost separated at the time. What really hit me was um, two years ago when I got involved with, uh, you know, Did Like Jesus. The, the fact that the, the name of Jesus is, is, is in the title, uh, going in there, I said, this is going to be a different, different kind of leadership. Did Like Jesus is all about being a servant leader, not only at work, but more importantly at home. The joy, you know, 
the, the relationship with Jesus and the relationship that is being built with my wife and, and my family, my two daughters. It's, it's just incredible, it's just better. After I left the, the corporate world, so to speak, I decided that I should start you know, putting together my own company. My vision would be bring in biblical worldview. I could be more of a servant leader and help others achieve their full potential. I'd like them to see Jesus in me. I'd like them to see how I could lead like Jesus.